Hey, Lumberjack. Hi. It's time for breakfast prep. Lumberjack style. It's my favorite meal of the day. So, the friends, we know a lot of you in the new year are wanting to eat healthier or you have a, a fitness goal of some sort to try to reach. And since I was prepping breakfast, I thought you guys might want to get a load of this and see the different meals that I eat for breakfast every morning. Losing weight, it's not just a physical thing. It's here and it's here. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up. So I'm starting with Greek yogurt. I have a few prepped so you can see what it looks like and then I'm gonna prep one with you. This is four days worth. I have half a cup of fat-free Greek yogurt and this is the plain. Now we like to get the plain one because you can control the amount of sweeteners, carbs and that kind of thing that go in it. If you get a flavored kind, it generally has more carbs and sugar we found, so we stick with fat-free plain. This is normally, I used to use the Greek yogurt as a snack. However, we're building more balance into our diet this year and adding in some different things, more fats, more complex carbs, a that more kind of thing. more balanced, well-rounded diet we're trying to achieve. Yes and we've been getting good results with it. So I added nuts to this and I actually eat it alongside of um, some of the other things. Sometimes I eat this as a full meal. So you can choose to have it as a snack or a breakfast, but this is part of my breakfast. So the yogurt, I showed you we're gonna put half a cup of the Greek yogurt in. I also like to do some sweetener. So I've put half a teaspoon of sweetener in this container. And this is what half a teaspoon looks like. We don't track our macros for those of you who are new, but we do portion everything out using measuring spoons, cups, and food scale. This is just vanilla extract. I'm gonna pour half a teaspoon of that. I'm making a vanilla flavored yogurt. Now I'm gonna put half a cup of my Greek yogurt in, and that's what half a cup looks like. And this, you, did, you did half a teaspoon of stevia too in there? Yes, I did. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the containers you can get anywhere from the dollar store, from Walmart. These ones are from Walmart. And actually, the new year, and like here we have Boxing Day in Canada, they always have really good deals on containers, so you can pick up a lot of really good containers for good price right now. And the cool thing is, um, with breakfast meal prep, we think it is the most important meal of the day. It sets the tone for the day, so if yeah. you don't have to cook in the morning, it's like an extra bonus to have this ready to yes, go. Yes, that's a really good point, because meal prep, we found when we first started losing weight, and Kyle and I have each lost 130 pounds. This is our sixth year. We've kept it off for three or four years now, the weight. And we found having breakfast, well, all meals, but breakfast in general, already prepped and ready to go, makes a huge difference. It starts your day on track. So even if you're just starting out and you're like, well, meal prepping every single thing I eat seems overwhelming, try this. Try, try, try the simple breakfast prep and you'll see mm -hmm. results. Now the other thing which is cool what I wanted to show you is that we do eat similar things each day, but we know most people, including us at the beginning, enjoy variety. So I'm showing you the different ways that I prep and I'm going to prep three different things for you so that you can see and I'm going to be utilizing similar things like the stevia, the vanilla, some eggs and egg whites in my other two meals but I'm making it different. So you can still eat similar things every day but cook them completely different or add different things to them and you'll feel like you're eating a whole new meal. So I'm going to stir this up now and this is this now becomes fat-free vanilla Greek yogurt, but it doesn't have any of the extra Sugars. sugar or carbs that a vanilla yogurt you might buy at the store would have. Okay, so we got that. Now what I like to do is I like to flavor my yogurt even more by adding frozen fruit to it. 
Fresh fruit tastes really good in it, but I find when you put the frozen fruit in and overnight it will thaw and all the juice runs into the yogurt. So then you have like a vanilla fruity flavored yogurt. So I'm taking this frozen berry blend. This is a mix of blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries. And this is from Fresh Co. And I'm gonna put half a cup of that in. So here's another half cup. Scoop that in. And then, since I said I've been adding some healthy fats, I bought this raw mixed nut concoction <laughs> at Zares. And it has some really good nuts in here. We've got some walnuts, there's some pecans in there, there's some macadamia nuts, cashews, I don't know if I said almonds. I really like the variety because each nut gives you a completely different amount of vitamins and minerals. And when you're out in the forest all day lumberjacking, you need nutrients, you yeah. need your healthy fats. You do. So I've chosen five. I've been adding five nuts per yogurt every day and that seems to be a really good amount for me. And I'm just going to take my knife and roughly chop them up. Now I am, um, you don't have to chop them this small. There's a method to my madness. I like having the taste of nuts in every bite. It's like a little sprinkly surprise. So <laughs> that's why I chop them so little because then when you mix it around in the morning, it gets really nice and sprinkly in all your bites. <laughs> yep. Sure. <laughs> the friends will know what I'm talking about. Okay, so then I just uh, splink them out like this and then splink it in my jar. See that? Whoa, that was magic. No, it's a tasty yogurt where you're not going to feel like you're missing out on anything. And that's four days worth. So for four days, my yogurt, done. Don't have to look at the yogurt for four days to make it. <laughs> so there's one of the meals. Now, like I said, this is part of my breakfast that goes along with the other two things I'm going to show you. However, you can eat this pretty much. It has protein, healthy fat, and fruit in it. You can pretty much eat it as a full meal as well, depending on what your appetite is. I'm a hungry boy in the morning, so I need more than that. <laughs> okay, on to the next one. Baby! Right to go. You know what I've learned in life? You don't keep a woman waiting. Yeah, come on, you look taking any time. Mom said, come on, I'm ready. Right, Hank? Yeah. French toast. Yeah. So we're using sprouted grain bread. And this is the whole wheat or the whole grain loaf. Just the original one. I'm using two slices I'm gonna just make one set, but you can double or triple this recipe and make as many as you'd like. So I'm gonna use two slices, and you do keep this bread frozen, so I've left it on the counter for a little bit to defrost it. However, sometimes I just microwave it for 15 seconds, just so that the bread will absorb the egg mixture better. I have a container. I'm gonna put the French toast in this and then heat it in the microwave when I'm ready to eat it, which will probably be tomorrow, and serve it with this. This is the Mrs. Butterworth's, and it's the no sugar added, and I will just heat it in the microwave and then drizzle a tablespoon of this over top, and that's how I'll eat it. That'll be my breakfast, along with the yogurt that you saw me prep. So to do this, you need two egg whites, which is a quarter cup of, of egg whites, quarter cup, in the pan. Quarter cup. Then we're going to use one large egg, smack it around a little, bank it in. <laughs> Pretty good at cracking eggs. Thanks. And the egg cracker extreme. The vanilla extract again. Just a sprig. Do it to your taste. Some ground cinnamon. A sprig. Meaning whatever you like. And then you can add stevia or you don't have to. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. 
For you guys, I'll add a spinch. It's just a pinch. Just a little spinch. Then I'm just gonna whisk this about with my fork. I haven't tried this yet, guys, but it's a new recipe for Nicole. But I can tell you this, the smell when she's cooking it in the morning makes me want to get into it. I might have to get into that real soon. Yep, because it's beautiful for life. Okay, so I'm gonna take my bread and my egg mixture over to the stove. Okay, so my pan has been preheated on medium high and I sprayed it with just regular cooking spray. I'm going to put a slice of bread in and soak up the jolly old egg mixture. Then flip it, soak some up on this side. Like that, put it in. Then I'll do the same to the other bread. I like to kind of squish it in there so it soaks up as much as it can. Works pretty good, right, for that amount for two pieces. Yes, it does. And then I'll show the friends my little trick for what it doesn't soak up. I just, what's left, so I get all my eggs and all my protein, I just pour it on top. There you go. And now we'll let that cook. I don't really have like a set time. I just kind of go until I think it's set. About a minute or so, I would say. Check it before, and then flip a rooney it. It's flipping time. So I just kind of put my spatula in between to separate them because sometimes they stick together. And you just flip her. Nice. And then, yep, flip. Oh, yeah, look at that golden age. <laughs> Looking good. <laughs> Okay, so the French toast is done. I have both slices in the container and once it cools, I'll cover it and put it in the fridge. You can also make a ton in advance and just throw them in your freezer and microwave them up when you're ready. I did flip it each slice one more time until I got the precise amount of goldenness that I liked. <laughs> one other thing I wanna say about the spreaded grain bread is that and you can use any spread of grain bread. This one is the uh, Easy Keel, Easy Keel, um, this Food for Life brand, but you can use any spread of grain. But I discovered, I was using regular whole grain bread and I was a bit bloated. I found that when I use spread of grain, I have PCOS for those that are new. I realized the sprouted grain bread does not bother my PCOS. Some foods make me feel bloated, so the sprouted grain does not affect my PCOS, and I find it's my stomach's a lot flatter and leaner since eating that one versus the regular whole grain. So. You can't really, friends, um, this, if you combine this French toast with the yogurt concoction that Nicole made, you can lean out, you can bodybuild, you can lose weight, whatever you want to do. This is real clean, real tasty food that you can look forward to getting up in the morning to eat. Yes, and I want to say two more things with that. If you guys are liking this and you want to see what we eat for a, in a full day, we will have um, a link to a full day of eating video down below that shows you a full day of eating on our new diet. And the other thing I want to say is that I've been eating like this for about three weeks now and I have seen amazing results. So if you check out our full day of eating video down below, you'll see what I've been eating for a full day. And I wanna tell you, I weighed myself yesterday and in two weeks I lost two pounds and 3%, 3% body fat. And that's only in two weeks. And in three weeks, I'm down like eight pounds, I think, and about 4% total body fat. And I'm noticing huge results in, in the mirror when I see it. And another major thing is that our scale shows our BMI. And my whole life, my BMI, even as a little girl, always said obese. Even like from 11 on, friends, until yesterday morning. I got on the scale, I saw my results, it went from obese to over fat. Now that still sounds a little weird, but 
to go from obese your entire life, like um, like 30 years, and then to over fat, that's like huge. So just so you can get an idea that you can eat French toast, you can put syrup on it, you can eat yogurt and nuts, and you can lose weight and still enjoy what you're eating. If you hate what you're eating, guys, you're not gonna stick to it. No, this is, I'm loving eating this way. I look forward to everything that I eat. So, let's move on to the next thing. And you know what it's gonna be called and you're gonna love it? Fancy Bear Pancake, that's what I called it. <laughs> Fancy Bear Pancakes, coming at ya. So, you're gonna love this one the best because you get to eat chocolate with it. Okay, so, <laughs> along with the pancake, I also, again, when I heat it in the microwave, I drizzle on a tablespoon of this no sugar added Mrs. Butterworth. You can use any sugar-free syrup, Walden Farms, whatever you like. This is just what we have right now. And to store these, I put them on a plate once I'm done cooking them, let them cool, then I wrap them with plastic wrap and I store them in a Ziploc bag in the freezer and I just pull them out one at a time as I need them and heat them up in the microwave. You can also toast these in a, in a convection oven or whatever, uh, or a regular oven, whatever you like to do to reheat it. And then you drizzle it with your syrup and eat it. <laughs> so I also, um, I'm gonna be using steel cut oats to make this. And I wanna say something that every time that I ate quick cooked oats or any other kind, it bothered my PCOS to the point where it would keep me up all night if I ate quick, cook, quick cooking oats. My stomach would be so bloated and in pain because of my PCOS, it irritated it really bad. With the steel cut oats, my stomach's lean and I have no irritation, no bloating, nothing. And just keep in mind, friends, these are quick cook, cook oats, but they're steel cut. They're steel and cut. And the steel cut made a big difference for Nicole. Yes, because the other ones are just quick cooking. These are the quick cooking, but they ha they're steel cut. So if you have PCOS and oats irritate you, you can try the steel cut. Maybe it won't work for you, but it definitely makes a difference for me. So we're going to start with half a cup. Half a cup of steel cut oats. And this is what they look like for those of you that haven't seen them before. Then I'm going to add in a large egg. Let's get cracking. <laughs> a quarter cup of egg whites again. So my breakfast contains always two egg whites and one large whole egg. Then I'm going to take cinnamon, and again, this is to preference, so I do just a, a splinker from my cinnamon jar. And then a splink of this vanilla extract, like that. And most of the time, I don't use stevia, but because you're at the party, I have frozen cinnamon. Sweeten it up a bit. And then... I like to put just a very tiny pinch of baking soda in and a tiny pinch of baking powder. I just pinch it. I don't really measure it. Then I'm going to sprinkle it all around. That means mix it. <laughs> that was like a pancake batter. Mm so good. It's actually quite fluffy too. Okay, so now I want to show you. When I'm cooking it in the pan, I'm going to add some of these. This brand is Krista, I think. I'm not sure if you, I'm saying that right, but these are stevia sweetened chocolate chips. And I found these at the Zares, just our local Zares. And they're awesome. They do, I'll, um, I'll show you guys the back. Really good macros. Again, we don't track macros, but we like to see them to have an idea. So I'm just going to bring five over to the stove. I throw about five in. Just as usually. a little sweet treat. Yeah. And so, I'll meet you at the stove. <laughs> so I have a smaller pan 
sprayed with cooking spray again and heating on medium high heat, preheated. I'm just gonna pour the whole pancake mixture in. And why I like to use a smaller pan is because I make one large pancake and the small pan makes the circular base for it. Then I just drop my chocolate chips in wherever I like and away we go. Okay, we're gonna flip it now that it's solid on the one side. Whoa, pro. There we go, nice and crisp. We'll cook it up for a little bit till it solidifies. There she is, boys. That looks and smells like a big chocolate chip oatmeal cookie. So, once it cools, like I said, I'm gonna wrap them up. That's just for one meal, but you can, again, double, triple that and make them for a whole week. And we were just yeah. saying, like, you make five of these, five of the yogurts, five of the French toast, and you pick and choose all week. You grab your breakfast right out of the freezer, ready to go. Yeah, and I, another thing that I forgot to mention to you guys is that you can also throw cocoa powder in this. Sometimes I throw in a pinch of cocoa powder and make a chocolate oatmeal chocolate chip pancake. I would place it in rather than throw it. It might get a bit messy. <laughs> or if you want to have fun, you could throw it in. Yeah, if you want to get messy, <laughs> whip it. So that's it, the friends. That's the three breakfasts. You, and like Kyle said, you can make a whole bunch of each and then just alternate them. And I do four yogurts at a time because any more than that will go bad in your fridge. So up to in our four. Fridge. Sorry, bad in. We don't put stuff in their fridge, not yet. Okay. Maybe maybe they'll let us borrow room in their fridge. So the friends, we put four in our fridge <laughs> because that's as long as they'll keep really well. And then I just make another four when I go through that much. So that's it. Super quick, super easy. Let me know which is your, are you a French toaster or a pancaker at heart? If I could only choose one for the rest of my life, I think I'm at the moment where I would be a French toaster for Whoa, life. I'm a pancaker. Yeah, I think at this current particular time, I'm a French toaster. So let us know down below. And don't forget to check out that other video. Where you the see friends. the whole day. It's fabulous. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't. Or what? Or what? Pancake pan of doom. It's like the jaws, but it's the pancake pan. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. Bye guys.